Hello and welcome to another Game Dev Diary. Um, we're looking at water again this time. I've updated water to work with the new block system. Um, so first I'll show you what it looks like when you uh, just dump some water on the ground here. And it kind of spreads out and you can see it, it matches the block size so the water just like the blocks are not as big as before. Um, I have it set up so uh, well let's take a look at what it looks like in a container here. So you notice they, uh, the little uh, wave texture turns white when it's uh, moving faster uh, or if it's like transporting more water. And on the back wall here originally I had it, it, it had sort of like a banding effect with the colors and I spent a lot of time trying to get this gradient, the smooth gradient to look right. Um, <laughs> So uh, let's come over here and add a whole bunch of add a whole bunch of water to the pool over here. And you can see as it's, it's sort of turbulent, um, the water's white, and then as it calms down some, it turns back into like a darker blue color. And there's actually three different levels of uh, so when it's really calm, there's just a very subtle wave texture. Okay, and now if I add a whole bunch of water right here on this side, you can see it uh, has like this ripple effect, which I thought was really cool. That's new too. That's that's part of the, uh, I've actually spent a lot of time on the water's behavior as well as trying to get it to work with this block system. Um, so this new behavior allows waves to kind of build up as they're flowing, which um, had the nice side effect of actually causing that ripple. I've just sat here and watched it. <laughs> A whole bunch while I'm developing because it's it is so cool looking. Um, another thing with this new block system, you can have really tall walls, which when you add water to that means you can have waterfalls. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So as the water falls, it creates this mist at the bottom here, and you'll see as the water up here runs out and it, uh, not as much is falling, the mist kind of cools off too. I, you know, if it's a if it's a really small waterfall, I didn't want to have like a whole bunch of mist at the bottom. That wouldn't doesn't really make much sense. So you can see not much is occurring here. And it'll eventually get to the point where there's no mist at all. Um, but if I add a yeah, see there you go. There's almost no mist there. Um, but if I add a whole lot of water up here, let's watch it again. You know, it really feels like a tall waterfall because all the mist and stuff. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, what else? What else? What else? All right, let's take a look at what happens when you punch a hole in the wall here. It just starts going everywhere. Anyway, that's all I had for today. Um, I already did a water video, uh, video number 10, and I have a uh, playlist linked in all of my videos, so it's easy for you to go back and watch old videos if you want. Um, that's all I got for today. Next time's probably going to be uh, looking at uh, doors and how roofing works with the new block system um, and item chests, maybe. But of course, whenever I say the next video is going to be this, it ends up being something else. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks for watching.